Today we're going to take a look inside this low tunnel. This is going to be added on to one of my other videos that I haven't posted yet. Um, and since I don't remember what it said, I'm going to add this in the beginning here because you might want to know what it is that I'm doing. I didn't get my garlic planted in my Zone 7 garden. So I was very upset about that, but I just was not feeling well in the fall and a lot of things got put on the wayside. So I was watching videos as I do every single day because there are so many creators in this garden community that are just fabulous. Um, and Nick over at Nick's Allotment Garden, N-I-C-K-S, um, showed that he was actually putting his garlic in cell trays the same way we'll do the onion sets. So I thought, why not give it a try? And I had kept them in the garage, but they had started to sprout, the ones that I harvested last year and that I was using. So the garage at that time was maintaining about 40 degrees. It was above freezing. And with the cover on, it generally takes it up another growing zone. So when I put them in, and I'll have to put the date, and those bulbs of garlic, the cloves that I took off of the whole bulb, that's how much some of them have grown. So I stuck them into each cell, and they were in the garage, so it's an unheated garage. So I'm going to be putting them in the low tunnel. And since I have the issue with the voles, moles, or shrews, whatever those little animals are, I'm going to be putting a frost cover over them and also that tool. So hopefully that will keep them from getting at these. Because it'll be at the beginning of this video, and I don't remember what it is. Um, I thought, what could, what could I lose? What could I lose? Well, let's take a, a look to see how everything is going. Now remember, we've had the polar plunge, and we also had another week where there were three days where it was single digits. Now, in this low tunnel, knock wood, I haven't had the issue with the bowls yet, but I was afraid that I was going to have that issue. So I did put the frost cover over and then the wetting tool because I know that the most of the little critters don't seem to like that. So let's take a look and see, see what's going on underneath. <gasps> and look at how fabulous they are. I'm so pleased. They were just tiny little things. And I hope you're able to hear me. It's very windy. I don't have my mic on because I'm moving around so much today. But let's take a look. Now, when I put them in, they were, they were teeny tiny. I don't even think, oh wait, let's look over in this one. All of them were this size or less in height. They were just that little green coming out. And look at how well they've done in here. So I still want to keep the frost cover on them because I know it's going to get cold again. But I am so pleased because this way I know that I will have some garlic this year. And let's look at the soil underneath here just to see. So look at that. Just with the one cover, but granted the... Um, this cell tray was on there but even on the edges look at how nice just that one layer of covering can really help you extend your season so thanks Nick I really appreciate that video that you did I'll try to link to it if I can remember when it was I know it was a couple months ago but it was a big help to me and I am so looking forward to garlic this year as you can tell it's windy the wind chimes are going again so let me get on to the next project. I'm so glad I was able to show you a successful update with this and that the voles hadn't gotten to them. So if you like today's video, please give me a thumbs up. 
I always love to hear from you. Leave me a comment. Have you ever tried to do your garlic like this and then planted it out a little bit earlier in the fall, in the spring rather? Let me know. Okay. Have a great day. Happy gardening.